Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here for another haul. This is kind of a crazy haul. I have just a lot of random things. I wasn't going to do any scent, but I got one more scent just in the mail today. It finally came, so I'm going to throw it in there. And then I bought a scent yesterday. So that's going to be in there. I'll start with those. I'm not going to swatch anything. I'm just going to say that outright because um, my I'm trying not to wash my hands right at the moment. Uh, I just slathered them with <laughs> lotion. Also, my nails are really terrible. This nail polish just is chipping like crazy and I don't know why. And that's one of the things to do this afternoon um, and try not to get it on my hands because um, I don't know if you can tell, but I, my hands, I've gotten really bad winter hands and they're really painful right now. So I don't want to like swatch anything and have to wipe it off. My left, which I usually swipe on, swatch onto is a little better than my right but it's still a little sore. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm sorry for that long rambling intro. I just wanted to get those out of the way. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, if you wouldn't mind considering subscribing, it would mean so very much to me. Um, yeah, it always is exciting for small YouTubers every time they gain a subscriber. It's a little celebration um, internally. Also, please leave me a comment if you have tried any of these things, what your thoughts and opinions are. If you want a more in-depth review of them, be, the palettes for sure will be uh, have a review later on, but let me know on some of the other things. Also, don't forget to like this video because that also helps out small YouTubers a lot. So the scent that I got, and I already like took, I took it all apart because I was so excited. And it was so cold. Oh my gosh, it was freezing cold. It is a Joe Malone fragrance. So here was the box. It's just kind of sitting in the box. You know, the beautiful ribbon on it. I love the presentation of Joe Malone. I've gotten really into Joe Malone in the past, uh, just under a year, I've collected several of them. So this is the limited edition for this year. This is Starlight Mandarin and Honey. And why won't you focus? So it is Starlight Mandarin and Honey, and I don't know if that's going to actually show. Um, there, you kind of can see it there. And then it has these beautiful stars on the bottle. I really like how different it is. This is the largest Joe Malone that I have now. This is a 3.4 ounce. I got this from Cosbar, and I have another item I'll talk about in a little bit from Cosbar. This was my first experience with them. They were doing a big after Christmas, New Year's sale, and I jumped on it. I saw, I think, the Beauty Steal on Instagram post about it and I was like, oh, jumped through her link and grabbed three things. And then it was kind of a mess from there. So checkout was fine. Everything went well. I did after pay on it, which was really great because uh, the things I got were a little more expensive. The problems happened when they started shipping. So they shipped me my one item first and it shipped right away and I was very excited. I got it within just a couple days. It was really fast. Um, then the perfumes took longer to, to ship. And then when I got the shipping notice, the, uh, tracking number that they gave me did not work. And I checked every day, you know, and it had been over a week and it still hadn't updated. And it said it was either not a correct one or that it wasn't in their system yet, which seems weird that they would give me a tracking number that wasn't in the system. Cause usually it says like, oh, we're waiting for it, whatever. So I finally contacted them when they sent me a refund and my second box said that it had two items in it plus my samples. And I was like, why are you refunding me something if it's in the box? And they said, oh, we're sorry. Uh, Tom Ford pour femme, <sighs> nor pour femme is sold out and we are for refunded your money. And I emailed him back. I, um, send in a request and I said, you know, one, I want to know why you said you ref why you've refunded me this and why you say it's out of stock when it was on my shipping e email that it was in this box. And then I said, and two, the shipping code that you gave me doesn't work at all. So then they finally, they got back to me right like the same day and they said, oh, we're sorry. It's out of stock. We'll refund you as soon as possible. And I was like, that wasn't my inquiry whatsoever. My inquiry was what is my real tracking number and what am I getting in that box if you've said that this thing is out of stock? After the second time, they did respond and they said, oh, we're sorry for the miscommunication. I guess I asked them too many questions. Um, and they said, 
we're sorry, Tom Ford is out of stock. It was not included in your shipment, which I thought was weird that they said it was when it wasn't. And then um, they gave me a tracking number and the tracking number I originally had was a USPS, but they this was a FedEx one. It came today, so I got it. It's it's fine. I'm glad to have it, but I will think twice about using Cosbar in the future because it was just kind of a mess and it was my first experience. And you know, when you have like that miscommunication and that weirdness, it kind of leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Anyway, I did get two samples. I was getting ready to like stick these in my uh, purse to travel with because I'm heading back home. Um, so they sent me two Joe Malone's. They sent me Honeysuckle and Davana and Fig and Lotus Blossom. So I have them here. The Fig is uh, Fig Leaf, Lotus Flower, and Vetiver. And Honeysuckle and Davana is Davana, English Honeysuckle, and Moss. They both sound really nice. I've been really enjoying the Joe Malone's that I have. Okay, let's talk about the Joe Malone fragrance. So I'm wearing this today. It came before I had put on perfume. This is pretty and it's unusual. And I definitely think, um, though it is, feels kind of feminine. I think the bitterness of it and sharpness makes it a unisex scent. If you've tried orange peel cologne from them, I feel like this is just a little lighter, has a slightly different aspect to it, but I feel like they're close relatives and I like this one I think just a little bit more than the orange peel but if you have the orange peel I don't know if you need to get the starlight mandarin and honey and I don't know how easy it is to get because it was supposed to be a limited edition this year but I like it I think it's a nice one and I'm glad that I got it for 30% off because that really really helped the other thing that I got is uh, Sol de Janeiro this is the Anita passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli body spray I or body fragrance mist I went in so I'm gonna insert some pictures here because I finally found a Sephora and Kohl's I was very excited I didn't realize there was one that's not too far from my parents house and I was like I have to go so I took pictures I'll try to insert them like up here I think or up here I I never remember um, so yes it was very exciting it was so cool it's bigger, like they have a lot more in there than the Sephora and Pennies ever did. It doesn't look quite, like the outside isn't as fancy as the Sephora and Pennies. Like it doesn't have the two entrances and it doesn't have, you know, like there's the front entrance and the back entrance on a lot of the pe uh, Pennies. Uh, and they didn't have like all of the window displays and stuff. It was more just like a solid wall with, you know, you could put a poster up on it and... So that part, like the outside was a little disappointing, but then when I went in, I was like, oh my gosh, they have so many things. They even had like Charlotte Tilbury in store. There was a couple things that cracked me up though about Charlotte Tilbury because they said was and now, and the now price was more expensive, <laughs> which I was like, that's, that's a little weird. Anyway, the associates in there were amazing. They were so, so nice. I really like, it was such a great experience. And I left them feedback because, you know, you get the little cold survey and I didn't include their name because I didn't realize it was a one question survey, basically. Um, and I would have put their names in there. Anyway, it was a great experience uh, and I wandered around and I saw this on the shelf and I was like, you know what? I've been curious about this and oh my gosh, this smells so good. It is so sweet. Um, it's... I would say it's like as sweet as the Boom Boom cream, but a fruity sweet. I really, really enjoy it. I sprayed it on. I could smell it for hours afterwards. Both of my parents were like, yeah, that does really smell good. And so I did pick that one up. And uh, yes, I would recommend this one. If this isn't a perfume, I would probably, there's like, it's similar to Escada in that it's bright and fruity and just delicious. Okay, let's go back to Cosbar and um, I'll show you the other item I got that arrived much faster. These are some hum vitamins or supplements. I got the hair sweet hair, which I've just used two bottles of and I enjoyed. And then I also got glow sweet glow, which is supposed to be skin hydration. And I got these because these were like 30% off. Oh, and I did sign up for their emails and stuff. So I got an additional 10% off with the sale price, which brought these down. So they ended up being about the same price as like ones you'd find in the drugstore. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get them. I enjoyed them. I'm missing 
having as many gummies as I did for supplements. So um, pick them up because I also just enjoy having gummies to eat. My mom bought me a couple of packs of scrunchies at TJ Maxx. I had to look if it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So this one is Conair and Barbie. They were just very cute. There's like little Barbie faces on that top one. Pink. Uh, there's a black velvet. Gray. Another pink. And one that says Barbie on it. They were cute. They were $3.99 for the six pack. I thought, you know, of all the things that they had, those were the most likely the ones I was most likely to wear. And then she picked me up this set from Nicole Miller that were just cute for Valentine's Day. So there's all different types of cute flowers and or not flowers, hearts on them. Actually, we got these before Christmas, so hopefully they are still there. My goal is to get this video up before Valentine's Day. We'll see what happens because I I was pre-filming a lot. I forgot to include something in my Black Friday like giant haul. I got this at Marshalls. And this was actually on clearance for $3.50. It is the Saturday Skin 10% Pore Clarifying Toner. And yeah, you can see that was on clearance. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, Saturday Skin's a good brand. And then I saw that it was $3.50 and I was like, you know what? I have to get it. It's weird though. It has like cloudiness in it. Uh, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's very... I like the packaging on Saturday Skin, and I've been using toners. They're not my favorite. I still don't know if I love toners, but for $3.50, I thought I would give it a try. Okay, something I was lusting after for quite a while. I picked up some of it. Actually, I picked up all of this at Macy's at different times. One, I used one of my um, beauty box or coupons on. No, I didn't. I had Macy's dollars, so I used... Uh, $20 in Macy's dollars on one thing and the rest of it was just like their VIP sale So they were like 15% off, but I, I was happy with what I got So I picked up the Cinderella collection from Sigma. These are the brushes. I think the brushes look very nice I'm not going to take them out of the package just because I'm getting ready to leave and I'm going to leave them displayed And I'll try them this summer when I come back because right now I don't need to use any open any more brushes as we all know because I have too many brushes and I need to do f videos on brushes. So yes, you get a flat kabuki, you get a powder br brush, you get an eye shading, a tapered blending and a pencil and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I love the Cinderella. We all know that I, well, if you've watched before, you probably have realized that I'm a sucker for Disney. If not, you're going to figure this out very quickly when I show you what else I bought. Then I got the Cheek Duo. I'm very excited about this. Oh my gosh, this looks so, so pretty. So that's what it looks like. And inside is two, you have a highlight and a blush and they just look so pretty. I hate to even like put a brush in them because I love the embossing on them, but they look like beautiful colors. They look like right up my alley. So I'm very excited to get to use that. I think I'm going to leave this whole collection here and test it in the summer though because I just have a lot going on and I feel like I would enjoy it more when uh, I'm not like super stressed out. This semester I'm teaching uh, more classes. I mean 2020, spring 2020 I taught this many classes but I'm also on a like very hard job hunt uh, this semester as well looking for uh, a position because I don't know. The position I have is just temporary and I don't know what's happening. So uh, yeah, this semester is going to be stressful enough and I don't want to like, I want to enjoy these and I want to save them as a treat. <laughs> uh, there are two lip glosses. You have a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. Oh, I guess. So lip gloss is the sparkly one, which is on top and the liquid lipstick is on the bottom. And then oh, the palette. This is my first Sigma palette. I have one like Sigma brush, I think, and it's literally falling apart. For some reason, the um, enamel on the outside of the brush has just been peeling and cracking and chipping basically ever since I got it. I got it in a Laurel Beauty box, so it was just like a travel size one, but I was little leery of Sigma up to that point, um, from then up to this point. So this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. I'm Sorry for the ring light. You have a brush in there, and then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 shades. And they look absolutely gorgeous. I love the embossing on them. This is another one that's gonna make 
just be hard to stick my fingers in. Yes, very excited about this one. Okay, my Disney obsession is continuing and I just realized I didn't bring scissors. So I'm gonna have to go get scissors. Uh, so I found these at Target. I went to a Target that had an Ulta in it. Yes, also very excited to be able to do that. I'll show you a picture. It wasn't as impressive. Like there wasn't a whole bunch in there that seemed like exciting. It seemed like very basic stuff that Alta would carry and mostly like mostly the high-end stuff I guess because Target already has a lot of the other stuff so it wasn't like super exciting I didn't see like any displays or anything new that I thought was ex interesting so Target and Alta not exciting Sephora and Kohl's very exciting oh and they had a set at Sephora and Kohl's that was a so uh the exclusive which was lips it wasn't anything I was interested in, but hopefully you noticed that picture. Okay, so I picked up Revolution. They had, they also had Tiana, but the colors of Tiana were just way too dark for me. I knew they wouldn't work, and these were already expensive. These were like $10 each, I want to say. I mean, not like super expensive in the grand scheme of things, but yeah. And then I got the two palettes because I... Honestly, these are my two favorite princesses. These are the two princesses I've met in real life and not just like the characters wandering around Disney. I mean like the voice actresses. I met Jody Benson and I've met Paige O'Hara and they were both lovely and um, I teared up after meeting both of them, which I was not expecting when I met Jody Benson. Um, and like more than teared, I, I, I cried just a little bit after Paige O'Hara because she, she, was, she, was, she was absolutely magical. Before I swatch or before I show you what those are, I have to go get scissors. I wanted to show you the other thing I got. This one, they did send me a replacement and Alta is doing this weird thing where they ask you to return things and then if you push back, they're like, oh, you don't need to. We just have to ask. And I was like, you really want me to send back a $5 eyeshadow um, and make me go to the post office and go through, and like find a printer and everything? Um, so yeah weird anyway this one came completely smashed this is the Re rapunzel i can see the light as you can see it is very smashed uh by ColourPop. i love rapunzel she's an, she's basically me but um i mean the hair wise so that's the packaging i did get a couple of these um dang just doesn't want to show um i did get a couple of these in uh, my Black Friday haul, but yes, so I did pick up that guy because I was just like, I needed like a couple dollars more or something, or maybe they were on sale. I don't, I don't even remember, but, um, yes, I did get a replacement that's not, um, or a replacement's on its way that is not crumbled. Okay, let's look at the Little Mermaid highlighter. These are very bulky, um, here, quite wide, but they're very cute, the packaging. And then it opens and it says, see the possibilities. It's a very pretty color. It doesn't look like super shiny. So that was Little Mermaid. Let's look at Beauty and the Beast. So again, you have the pretty, almost like a book artwork. And inside is the highlighter, which is pretty actually. Um, and then it says A Tale of Enchantment. So yes, I'm excited about both of these. These are also ones that I'm going to leave here to use this summer because I don't need to be trekking things back and forth and I don't know if I'm moving, <laughs> if I find a job somewhere. So it's just like they're central, they're safe here and that's why they're staying. All right, here is the palette. It's quite hefty as well. Like they would look really pretty on the shelf or you could stack them even. Oh my gosh, I love the names. Although I feel like Be Our Guest isn't too much different than the highlighter that we just looked at. So on this side, you do have, could be a bronzer, could be a blush. Uh, I love the names. We're gonna read the names really fast because they just make me happy. We have Bonjour and Be Our Guest, Maurice, True Love, Something There, and Tale is Old as Time. Hopefully they're not too shiny with the ring light. And then we have all of the shades over here. 
We have Library West Wing, Rose, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts, Ballroom, Bell, Lumiere, Enchantress, Petal, Spell, Feast, Little Town, Chip, Beauty, Gaston, Grey Stuff, and Mirror Mirror. I love that there's Grey Stuff. Try the Grey Stuff. It's delicious. All right. The Little Mermaid. Once again, pretty purple packaging. Very pretty. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm liking these colors even more. So we have over here, we have Part of Your World, The Heart of the Sea, Make a Splash Under the Sea, Total Catch, and Rule the Wave. They are just really pretty shades. And then over here, oh my gosh, so cute. We have Flounder, Waves, Scuttle, Ariel, Sebastian, Seaweed, Adela, Sea, Eric, Quata, Mermaid, Triton, Dinglehopper, Alana, Flots Flotsam, Ocean, A Athena, and Ursula. I wish they would have done Jetsam because they did Flotsam. So that's what they look like. I, I will make sure to get a review of these up sometime this summer and I will not have a ring light. I promise I will find somewhere else to film where there won't be as much glare. Quick pause to show you the samples that I got. We have a Jutopia 20% night treatment uh, from Ole Hendrickson. So it's an acid treatment. Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. Very excited about those. Love those. Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer from Pharmacy. Sounds good. Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. Not a big fan of this. Probably will pass that one along. And then a Wishful Get Even Rose Oil. So interesting. We'll give the oil a try. I'm not a big oil fan, but we'll try it. I picked up this set of nail polishes at Marshall's. They were on clearance for $6. And really, I got these because I wanted the one shade, but then I thought, you know what? My best friend would probably really like this red. This is Rush Hour. I think it's a very pretty red. But look at this shade. This is called Peppermint Crush. And oh my gosh, doesn't that look amazing? I'm very excited to wear it. I think this would be a good Valentine's Day, not scent. I was going to say scent, but I didn't mean scent. Good val val good Valentine's Day shade. That's what I'm trying to say. A couple more randoms, and then I'll show you what I picked up uh, with the bonus coupon that they sent from Sephora. Yes, from Sephora, the extra 20% off that they did in December instead of the money off. I missed the money off. I know as Rouge, I got more than everybody else, but I didn't, and I, I get like egalitarianism, but it's kind of like st stings that one of the perks of being Rouge was taken away and we got something less, um, which just, it, it bothered me because that, that's the one I always looked forward to most throughout the year. Okay. I picked up this from Ulta. I was like, where did I get this? This is their, the new Milani collection. And this was in the shade Blossom. It just looked so pretty. Unfortunately, it did have a little ding on it. I don't know why. Like, it's up in the cap. I could see. Color looks absolutely gorgeous. Very excited to try this one. And then I picked up two more things from Marshall. This one was on sale on Clarence, and I couldn't believe it. This is from Pure Lease. This is the Watermelon Energizing 2-Minute Polishing Peel. This is basically a face scrub. Uh, face scrub. I've used this in the past and I really like this. This was $5.50 on Clarence and it smells like watermelon and it's lovely and I love it and uh, yeah, very excited about that one. The other thing I got, I was absolutely shocked to see in store because I don't know when this came out. I feel like it's been out for a while. Anyway, and the company is no more. It is Becca, and this is a Becca Jekyll and Hale Champagne Splits. So this is Champagne Pop and Hyacinth, and it was $12.99. It does have Jekyll and Hale. I don't follow Jekyll and Hale, like, never have, uh, like, obviously I know who she is, but she was never, like, somebody I've actually, I don't know if I've even watched a video of hers. Uh, so this just was $12.99. It looked really pretty, had not been swatched, which I was very grateful for, but look at those colors. I was like, you know what? I have to get it because I love Becca products and those are gorgeous colors. Okay. I'm going to save the best, what I think is the best for last, but I have this set was on sale. So I picked this one up and the other one was on sale too. 
could have gotten them later and not used because they were 20% off later anyway. This is the Fenty Skin The Before Bed set. I had put this on my loves list. The packaging is very odd on this, to be honest. But I had put this on my list before um, this it had gone on sale because I thought it was interesting and I was kind of interested in seeing what Fenty Skin was all about. I mean, obviously this is recyclable packaging, but it's a, it's a little awkward um, accordion cardboard. Most unusual packaging I've found. Okay, so this first thing is the Fenty, Fenty Skin Instant Reset Recovery Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. So I'm excited to try that. Um, probably that's a sample size. It's going to go on my sample Saturday. And then this is the Hint Hint Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. And excited about this because I really like the lip balms, the gloss balms. It has a nice, just very uh, simple scent to it. So yes, excited about trying this one too. And then the toner, I've been using toners more often because I was trying to use them up and now I kind of, I don't love them, but I've kind of gotten used to them, I guess. So I decided to get the fat water. I've heard good things about this. This is a pore refining toner serum. Anyway, excited about all of those. And then I got the glow recipe set because uh, yes, I love glow recipe. It is become one of my favorite brands of skincare. I just really have enjoyed, at least like, even if I don't love them, I still have enjoyed everything that I've tried from them. I, and this is the thing, like I really liked this toner that they did. And you know, honestly, it could be that it smells like watermelon and I just love watermelon. So, uh, yes, got the glow recipe water, watermelon glow, PHA and BHA pore tight toner. Very excited about that. That's a full size. This and the bottle is so cool because it's like all faucet faceted and oh, and these are sticky. They have sticky notes on them, not notes dots. Then we have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dewdrops, which I have been curious about. So I will be trying this one as well. And then I also got the Watermelon Glow Hyal Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. So I'm assuming this if I remember right, is a mask. I'm going to have to look at the box that I just threw away because, uh, yes, but love the watermelon. Final thing from this all, which is once again longer than I meant for it to be, is the Rose Quartz palette from Huda. I mean, we knew I was going to get this. I've mentioned it before. I was going to get it with the 20 uh, or 25 off of 75. But it didn't happen, so oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous it is. I have not used it. I have been resisting. I've been using other things. Okay, this shade that's so weird, it literally looks like rocks at the bottom of a stream. Like if you've gone up and it's just a tiny stream with clear water, it looks like rocks on the bottom of the stream, like on the water uh, river bed. It's just... It looks really cool, but so weird at the same time. Okay, so lots of shades in here. We're going to turn it upside down so that... I mean, look at how gorgeous they are. And they look different in different lights. Like this one looks more brownie, but when I look at it in the mirror, it looks like a purple with a white. So pretty. Oh my gosh, this color, Joy, looks amazing. I love happiness. So yeah, this is going to be reviewed in sometime in the future. I'm working through a lot of different palettes, uh, but yes, I'm so excited about this. I think I'm going to absolutely love it because I am such a fan of Huda. I almost forgot to include one of my Christmas presents. Uh, this was given to me by a very close friend and she saw it and thought of me immediately and I'm so excited for it and I wanted to show it because it's so pretty, like the packaging and everything. And it's this Betsy Johnson Deluxe Petty collection set. So it comes with these really cozy looking knitted slippers. And then you have, uh, what is this? This is a foot. So there's a foot soak and a foot lotion that are both like in rows. So there's the lotion. There's the foot soak. There's like a little man, uh, scrubby brush. You have a, like, uh, the thing that pushes back your cuticles. Then you have like a file, some toe separators, clippers and scissors. Anyway, it just looked cute. so cute. So me. 
I'm so grateful for it and I'm really excited to use it. I think it's so cute. So thank you very, very much if you are watching. Um, yeah, but it was sitting, it was too big to sit on the table where I had everything else. So I almost forgot it. And then I looked down and I was like, oh, I have to record this one. Okay. Let me know if you've tried any of these things, what your thoughts and opinions are. Thank you so much for watching and sitting through all of this. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let me know if you have purchased anything recently or if there's anything that is on your radar and I'll talk to you guys next time.